Right. Good Fine. morning. Good afternoon to everyone here on Before Coffee. We're already up. No mic. So we're already no mic. into it. Raj doesn't have a mic yet, audio, but don't worry. Good. We'll get started very uh, soon. <laughs> today. There we go. So I feel very tired after being up for like 36 hours. <laughs> hey, good morning. Good morning, folks. Good morning, America. Good morning, tired siblings. Good, good morning, morning, everyone. Good morning, continent of Eurasia. Earth, earthlings. <clears throat> good afternoon, even. Good morning, Africa. Good morning, Australia. Good day, wanna... Australia. Good day, Australia. What's that? Okay. I was gonna ask if you wanted to start. I was gonna ask if you wanted to start with the uh, the sports stuff, or you want to end with the sports stuff. And okay. Well, I guess I will start my hair, doing my face, my... my face out of my hair. Yeah. And uh, all right then. Well, I could read oh it in Dutch, but you won't know what the hell I'm saying. Kerfuffle. Is kerfuffle, is that Dutch? It sounds like it is. <sighs> Do you remember that Crown Witness, who the lawyers were all murdered conveniently about a couple weeks back? Well, it says here that lawyers will no longer help the witness, Nabil B, because of the fears of being assassinated. Illinois enacts mandatory paid leave for any reason. Five lines are shorter. <laughs> um, oh, I don't have another one. Oh. No news today. Okay, North oh, Korea got, fired a European news. missile again. <laughs> oh, you're missing European news. Better, yeah, there's nothing happening point. here. Sorry. For Former Trump lawyer Michael Cohen testifies before grand jury. Um, British singer Gary Glitter returned to prison a month after release. Oh. <laughs> that and more. Plus, uh, oh, and Nor'easter. It's nor e Nor'easter. It's the Northeast. That and more. And before our coffee. Or my brain functions go. There's only four games. Oh, yeah, there's only four hours in the day. Four games, I said. Four days. Okay. <clears throat> All right, for our first. There's only two games here, actually today. It starts getting a, like getting in a conversation during the right. intro. Um, actually, real reporters do that as well. They start talking uh -huh. during the intro sequence. <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck. Oh, we're going live! All right. Let's look at that. The crown witness of Nabil B will, will no longer be assisted by lawyers. Lawyers Ono de Jong and Peter Schouten no longer assist star witness Nabil B in the Moringo trial. B said, that this, said this during the session in liquidation processing. It is not clear yet why they put down their defense. When asked, Scouta confirms that both will no longer act as Nabilby's lawyer because of professional secrecy. He cannot say anything further about it. He basically was like, no, I'm guilty. <laughs> oh, well, I can, uh, in my confidence, I cannot, I cannot defend you in a court of law. Right? <laughs> That's famously what happens in TV shows. Because you've said that, I no longer feel confident in my job as a lawyer. Uh, B, B said uh, at the beginning of the session that the lawyer told him a week ago that no, he, that they no longer wanted to assist him. B only wanted to give an explanation behind closed doors in connection with safety. The court agreed to this after a short deliberation and then gave no further explanation about the situation. The young and Scouta have assisted Nabu Bill since Nabu since 2020. Today, they, the key witness in the case of Syed R would be heard. Yet that interrogation can continue without lawyers, the court ruled. R's lawyers expressed their concern about this, but the court still wanted to argue with the questioning. It is not the first time, B, that 
with his, his without an, without a lawyer until 2019. He was assisted by Dirk Wiersum, who was murdered on September 2019. After that, Oscar Hammerstein was briefly his lawyer. He stopped after a conflict with the key witness. At the beginning of this month, a damaging report was published by the Dutch Safety Board about the protection of people who were murdered during the Marengo process. After being reported as a key witness, his brother Redwan and confidant Peter R. de Vries were also murdered in addition to Wiersum. In the Marengo trial, main suspect Radaun Tahi is on trial. He is suspected of a total of six murders for attempted murders and four prepara preparations for murder. Life sentences have been demanded against him and several by several co-defendants. And again, sorry. Life sentences have been demanded against him and several co-defendants. Your turn. I had my mic off because I spilled some water. Hey! Oh, that's what you were doing. <laughs> what for? Okay! So, back to my story, now that I've had a live on your accident. Well, and uh, nobody saw it. It's okay. Right on. <laughs> Illinois. Who lacks mandatory paid leave for any reason? Illinois. Become one of the three states to require employees to offer paid time off for any reason after Governor J.B. Prisker signed a law on Monday that will take effect next year. Starting January 1st, Illinois employees must offer workers paid time off based on hours worked and no need to explain the reason for their absence as long as they provide notice in accordance with reasonable employer standards. Thank you. Just Maine. In Nevada, mandate earned paid time off and allowed employees the freedom to decide how to use it. But Illinois' law is further reaching. Unencumbered by limits based on business size. Similarly, <coughs> unencumbered by limits based on business size. They need to break these up in the paragraphs. <laughs> Similarly, structured regulations that require employees to offer paid sick leave exist in 14 states and Washington, D.C., but workers can only use that for health-related reasons. Illinois employees will accrue one hour of paid leave for every 40 hours worked up to 40 hours total, although the employee must offer more. Employees can start using the time once they have worked for 90 days. Seasonal workers' work needs will be exempt, as will federal employees or college students who work non-full-time temporary jobs for their university. Horses exemptions. College degree time off? Come on, man. Pritzker says that. Come yeah. on. That's a little bit too much to ask. I need time off for my part time job and I need to get paid for it while I go. I'm not going to tell you why. Okay, college student. No part. <laughs> Pritz I'm talking <laughs> about federal employees. It's specifically exempt oh, yeah. for federal employees. Their own yeah. rules. Only rules for federal employees. That's just the way it is. Prisker signed a bill Monday in downtown Chicago saying too many people can afford to, but yeah, the state cannot pass for laws for federal employees. The other, we, we continue to build a state that truly serves a beacon for families, business, and good paying jobs. Proponents, proponents say paid leave is key to making sure workers, especially low income workers who are more valuable, are able to take time off when they're need, needed without fear for reprisal for employee. But critics say, the law will overburden small business already struggling to survive the post-pandemic area amid the high inflation that has gripped the nation for nearly two years. I love how they just fake this crap. Like, okay, yeah, there's only been inflation, but it was just something that happened. No, it was because of the pandemic. Nas National, Federal, and Independent Business, Illinois State, Chris Davis said the business owners are best positioned to work with their employees on one one eight their needs. The new law is a one size fits all solution to a more intricate problem. What do you mean? It's a problem? How is it a problem, Mr. Business Owner? How is it a problem? I, I, I'm okay with you. You don't even see it off, as a problem. But I don't want to pay them for it. <laughs> no, I'm see, they don't even see it as a problem to begin with. So why yeah. are they even thinking that there's a solution to the thing that's not even a problem? What? Workers need time off? They're just a data point. What are lazy bastards? They don't work. They just want us loaf. Okay. Well, stop hiring loafers then. Hire real workers. I don't know. I'll tell you. All right. You're, you're sorry. 
Oh, right. Yeah, it's really hard when people you have to remember that your workers are humans that have lives outside of yeah. doing whatever the hell you're paying the pennies to do. <laughs> yeah, and you're too lazy to hire good employees, so you blame them for being lazy. No, yeah. you were too lazy to hire good employees. That's what the issue is. You're well, maybe lazy. He's, or maybe yeah. they're or maybe they're barely doing any work themselves, right? And they're expecting their empl their employees to take over their responsibilities. So of course they're. Or maybe they're skimming off the top and not telling anybody. Yeah. And they need an employee to blame it on. So they hire somebody incompetent, put them in charge of finance. Who knows? You're sorry. Oh right. North Korea fires another ballistic missile. This time from the coast. The South Korean military has reported this is the third exercise exercise in less than a week. The exercise comes a day after the largest joint military exercise between South Korea and the United States since 20, 2017. The two short-range missiles were fired from the southwest, flew over land, and landed in the sea east of North Korea. According to South Korea military, the missile traveled a distance of 620 kilometers. The army speaks of a blatant provocation that threatens peace and stability in the region. Two days ago, North Korea fired two cruise missiles from a submarine for the first time. Previously, the country only did that with ballistic missiles. According to North Korea's state media, the missile launches are in response to provocations from the US and South Korea. The military exercise of both countries should be sped up, sped up the reaction time to a possible North Korean attack. Joint Army Exercise Freedom Shield will continue for 10 days. Freedom Shield. It's a really short one. Shield, oh yeah. They have rocket man set off rockets again, huh? Yeah. I'm a rocket man! <laughs> Sorry, no singing today. Mm -hmm. I can barely hold my voice together. I was coughing all night. Hope I'm not coming out with something. Barely holding it together. Uh, hopefully I can go back to sleep and wake up a different person. Yep. Next story. Yay, next story. Nor'easter for the Sun Weather Channel. A nor'easter, which is a really heavy windy storm, bringing high winds and rain, coastal flooding to the East Coast. I thought I clicked on the story, but it didn't get to the story. A nor'easter will continue. Denver parts of the northeast coast with heavy rain, snow, damaging winds, coastal flooding. As it intensifies through today, the system has been named Winter Storm Sage. The Sage the system has okay. Here's a look at where the storm is now and what's to come. Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey, into much of central eastern New York and western east northern. It should say New England, it says England. Okay, this storm is big, it's in England. Closer, <laughs> it's a typo, it should say New England. Closer to the coast, soaking rainfall is acting some parts of the southeastern New England, but some of the regions should see a change over to snow later, including Boston. Snow and rain is accompanied by strong winds, gusts, especially in coastal areas. Power outages and down trees have been reported in central and western Massachusetts, parts of neighboring southern Vermont and southeastern New York. We've also had power outages. According to, to poweroutage.us, multiple locations have picked up a foot or more of snowfall from the storm in western Massachusetts. Winter storm alerts are in, in effect for multiple states, including New York and all the New England states and Pennsylvania. But it's blowing north of here, so all we're getting is a bunch of wind, I guess. I can hear it. I can hear it through my You can hear the wind now. Yeah, it's clanking on that roof. Uh, flat thing, you know, the vent cover. Yeah. That thing bangs every time it's windy. It's like clank, 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 clank. You might be able to pick it up. I'm not sure. No, I don't know. I can hear it. Once in a while, you're out. Clank, clank. Is that it? That's it for the weather. Okay. <laughs> it was like, I I kind of just stopped there, so I wasn't sure if it ended. Well, it was a, a brief update of what's current hell is happening here. The sun's up, but I can hear the wind. It was very sunny and warm yesterday, but the wind was awful. Our solar panel flew off. Wow. Yeah. Very 
there a technician you call for that? Huh? Is there a technician you call for that? Uh, I know, but the glass broke, so now we need to. I think they can't. We contacted the insurance company to be like, uh, we, right. ha we haven't had this for even a year, even half a year, and uh, it fell off installed the roof it. and crashed. Whoever installed it owes you. We installed it. Oh boy. It's just a. It's just like a on a Eisel kind of thing, right? Yeah. You just put it. We put it on top of the shed. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be bolted down. Yeah, but I don't. We didn't bolt it down because it was very heavy, so we thought it would be fine, but it was not fine. But. Mhm. Mm that's. Uh, anyways, uh, let's go with uh, some news about uh, the British singer Gary Glitter, who was released oh in February for serving his serving half of his 16-year prison sentence for child abuse, has reportedly returned back to prison because of his probation he did not comply with conditions of release upon his release he was fitted with among other things an electro electronic ankle bracelet with a gps signal he also had to report to a trip any trips abroad in good time it's not clear what conditions he violated gad was convicted in 2015 by a london judge of rape of child a child under 13 attempted rape of four counts of sexual assault the abuse played out in the 1970s and 1980s, when the glam rock artist was one of the most famous British artists with songs Do You Wanna Touch Me? Oh yeah. Gad has always declined these allegations. At the beginning of this century, Gad was also convicted of child abuse. He was at prison in Vietnam for almost three years for assaulting an 11-year-old girl and a 12-year-old girl. He was later deported to Britain. Years earlier, in the late 1990s, he had already been in prison for four months for possession of child pornography. Mm. So, every, one of you, every one of your stories smells with music, huh? Well, what <laughs> Last one was Rocket Man. This one is. Oh. Hey! Every time you say glitter, glitter, that just jumps right in my head. <laughs> Nothing you can do about it. If you've ever been to a no, story I mean, event, the, yeah, States, he made a popular song, for, so it's. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, and they, I, I don't think it's royalties anymore. But, yeah. Da, 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 da. Hey! Da, 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 da. Yeah, every sporting event in America, I don't know if they do it anymore, right? But I don't think he gets the royalties anymore, so I don't think it matters. It's not really a song. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> it's just a noise. But, uh, all right. Go back to jail, Gary, I guess. Can't learn your lessons. Former lawyer, former Trump lawyer Michael Cohen testifies before a grand jury. And the internet does that thing where it gives you a bunch of pop-up ads instead of a story. It tells you, register free. And I'm like, I don't want to. And I don't want to read your video story. I want to watch the real story. Thank you for ruining my story for me. I've reached my free limit. Ah, that's what it is. <laughs> okay. You must pay for your news. Yeah, well, we'll find somebody else who's covering the same story. <laughs> that there always is. Shirts. There's about a billion freaking online news sources, and they all cover each other's stuff. Okay, this is CBS New York. They're gonna have a video. Yeah. So. Nope, it's just the video. Thanks, assholes. <laughs> you really are a bunch of assholes. Why do you link me to a video? All right. One more time. As the prospects of that grows, a Manhattan district officer indicted Donald Trump this week before the grand jury. Not surprisingly, the former president's attorney declined an offer. Uh, so we're going to get to the Michael Cohen story in there? Nope. They didn't cover it either. Uh, Technical difficulty. <laughs> full coverage. We'll get somebody's freaking right up of it. I, I even give them credit in their byline. Somebody give me a write up instead of a freaking TV show. All right. Everybody wants to be a reporter that gets things wrong. I want to be the reporter that gets things wrong. Damn it. 
by this is by Kara Scandell of CNN. It's called Trump won't testify. Blah, 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 blah. But his other lawyer did. Former President Donald Trump does not plan to testify near grand jury investigation. It did his payoff of hush money to Stormy Daniels. The, the attorney Joe T. Copine also appeared on ABC's Good Morning America. He has no plans on participating. <sighs> My goal is to tell the truth. Okay, prosecutors have invited former president to appear before the grand jury investigating his alleged role in the payment of a cover up. A person familiar with the manner previously said, indicating a decision on charging Trump may come soon. My goal is to tell the truth, former Trump attorney Michael Cohen said to reporters in Lower Manhattan on Monday as he prepared to testify before the grand jury. My goal is to allow Alvin Bragg and his team to do what they need to do. I'm just here to ask questions. Cohen also said that he would be willing to testify if the case went to trial. Cohen really, really, really hates Trump. Uh, you ever see America? He's from he's to cop to copy the uh, whatever Trump's crooked lawyer also rallied against his prosecutors after sorry I should call him a crooked lawyer but that seems like the only can hire these days is calling he is calling on the New York City Department of Investigation the city's inspector in general to investigate what he calls a weaponization of the Manhattan they're showing so he's but oh yeah we we can break the law because we can always claim it's politics basically what he's saying yeah and show he broke the law. Wrote the law, guy went to prison for it, and now you guys get in charge. Get over it. Alright, so I'm not again. Yeah. Prosecutors are weighing whether to charge Trump with falsifying the business records of the Trump Organization for how they reflected a reimbursement payment of Cohen, who said they were who said he advanced the money to Dan. He's also waiting whether to charge Trump with falsifying business records in the first degree. For allegedly falsifying or regularly intent to commit another crime or aid to conceal another crime, which in the case of being a violation of can't like finance them. If you just list all the laws he's broken, you will just run out of time before you run out of laws. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Your story, are we doing the basketball? Thing? We I'm gonna cover I'm covering the Oscars real quick because we didn't cover them yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Uh everything everywhere all at once basically wins everything, except for a few of the big awards. Um, Michelle Yeoh made history becoming the first Asian woman to win the statuette after a billion years of the Oscars existing. <laughs> I think people who've played Asians have won the statuette, you know, famously in the right. the 40s when people were just dressing up as race, whatever race they wanted to instead of actually hiring an Asian person. <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess somebody keeps track of races who win stuff. To all the little boys and girls who look good, look at home and look like me. Oh wait. To all the little boys and girls who who look at home and look like me, this is a beacon of hope. Proof that is mm -hmm. your dr dream. If you dream big, your dreams can come true, said the Malaysian-born actress. And ladies, don't ever tell. let anyone tell you you had your best time. The 6 year old actress added, just to be clear, mm -hmm. she's old and she's Asian. Director Dennis- There, they should celebrate old people winning. They do that all the time, they get the old people. Yeah. Then that, uh, yeah. Director Daniel Scheinert, who won with his colleague Daniel Kwan, decided his directional award for the absurd action drama comedy to all mothers worldwide, and him, and his in particular. Mom and Dad, thank you for not limiting my creativity when I was disturbing- made disturbing horrors and perverted comedies or walked around in women's clothing. Uh, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis also won an Oscar. She thus cashed in her first nomination in, in a career of 45 years. Shut up, she said in shock when her name was called. Once on stage, she first took a deep breath in, to enjoy the moment. She named her cast, crew, and many fans who followed her from Scream Queen in Halloween to life-threatening tax inspector in EAAO. -E we won an Oscar together. She also briefly reflected on the fact that she achieved what her parents never succeeded. Tony Curtis and Janet Leigh both missed their nominations. Me. Michelle Yeoh became the first agent and we already watched that. <laughs> you can watch her speech. I don't want to watch her speech. Um, 
The most emotional yeah. event was, of course, Brendan Fraser winning his Oscar for The Whale with sh Swallow Tears. And also K. Hu Kwan, who also hasn't been working in Hollywood since his um, Goonies and Indiana Jones roles. Uh, K. recalled how his life tur had turned out as a Vietnamese boat refugee to a refugee camp, child star Indiana Jones and the Goonies, and then unemployed for years because good roles for Asian actors were rare. Not that the roles weren't there, just that they were only hiring you to be a kung fu master. Mm. Or a shop owner. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Can I just be a guy that happens to be Asian? No! That's not allowed! <laughs> or you can have Mickey Rooney play a Japanese guy in Breakfast at Tiffany's. Yeah, exactly. Yet I yeah. ended up here on the biggest stage in Hollywood. They say stories like this only happen in movies. He said with a lump in his throat about his American dream. Hold on to your dreams. I almost gave up on mine, but keep your dreams alive. Thank you for having me back. Best actor friend Brendan Fraser also referred to his comeback with The Whale. I started in Hollywood 30 years ago. It may not always be, have been easy, but I only realized what opportunities I had when they fell away. Thank you for this recognition. He held the figurine shiveringly in his, in his hand as he gave his acceptance speech. Ooh, that's a bit rainy. Cool. Whether typically, whether the topicality of the war in Ukraine helped the films. Wait, what are we talking about? We're talking about Navalny. Ah. Navalny won for best of the documentary. That's kind of Russian news. Oh, the the Western news. His wife news? made his speech. Yeah, the Russian okay. documentary about Navalny made it. One and his wife made a speech. I saw that. The Western Nick's news is tied with record holders Fanny and Alexander, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and Parasite which also garnered four awards in foreign language film. Whether it is the topicality of the war in Ukraine helped the film's pacifist message remains a guess. There was, however, a clear connection in the best documentary category when you hear was Navalny about the aftermath of, poisoning of, aftermath of the poisoning of the Putin critic. Huh, interesting. Um, let's, I'm just going to list all the things that won. We've got movie, everything take a everywhere, while. all at once. Direction, the Daniels for the same film. Male lead, Brendan Fraser for The Whale. Female lead, Michelle Yeoh for everything. Supporting actor, K.U. Kwan for everything. Supporting actress, Jamie Lee Curtis for everything. International movie, the Weston Nix News. Scenarios, everything. Edited screenplay, oh women talking. Animated film, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, which I haven't seen. I've always wanted, I love watching all of Guillermo's films, so I'll probably watch that. Camera work in Western Nick's News. Edit, everything everywhere all at once. Pretty good editing, I have to agree. Visual effects, Avatar, that's just a, that's just a giveaway. Um, makeup and hairstyling, The Whale. Yeah, I would say the makeup was pretty good in that one. Costume What's design, so Black funny? Panther and Wakanda Forever, sorry. I have I, I haven't watched any of these movies, but Okay. I have no I have no mind for them. Sound! Top Gun Maverick. They really made those jet engines sound like real jet engines. Uh yeah. Soundtrack. R R R Not to Not to. Film music in Western Nick's Noose. Noose. I feel like it's Noose, but that might be my Dutch pronunciation. Short movie in Irish Goodbye. Short animation filled, The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and the Horse. Documentary Navalny. And short documentary, The Elephant Whisperers. Right. We can go with the sports story now if you want to do that. I'm, all, I'm always suspicious of it. That movie that wants to many Oscars. Trust me, it's a good film. I always wanna, it really I always is a good shoot, film. I always want to shoot holes in it. Yeah, well, we can shoot holes in it, too. Okay, what games are we picking here? There's four games that are in NCAA tournament. The first four. You go ahead and listen. Okay, the first four, I'm winning. Uh, the first teams I'm expecting to win their games, I guess, uh -huh. um, is Texas A&M -A CC. That's a really long, a really <laughs> long okay. game. Okay, that game is Texas A&M Corpus Christi versus Southeastern Corpus Missouri Christi, State. Okay. Yeah. I was like, I don't know what this stands for. Where I've been been there. I know where he is. It's a college of it's a college there, but it was a Corpus Christi in three times. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that game, just given the, the spread. In the spread, I'm reading off one uh, one app. I'm not going to advertise them because they don't give us some money. Yeah. And uh, basically, the, the odds are all set by one guy. I don't care what app it is. This one guy setting these odds. It's a guy named Louis the Lip in Vegas. And if Louis the Lip isn't around... His assistant 
uh, Hairball Johnny. Hairball Johnny. He does. He covers it. Okay. Well, he's calling it. Hey, it looks like a hairball. What are you going to do? Hey, you know, it's hairball Johnny. You know? So he's setting all these odds today because it's Tuesday. Because he has hair lips. Hairball Johnny's. Yeah, hair, hairball Johnny. Not hair lip. Different, okay. different hairball lip. Hairball Johnny. Okay. Hairball Johnny. Okay. Hairball Johnny's got uh, Southeastern Missouri State with uh, Corpus Christi's favored by three. Let's just say Okay, that. so Next I'm, I'm, I did a good guess. All right. Well, there's only a good guess if you win. Yeah, I, I'm just saying. I am also I'm not looking Corpus at the odds. Christie. I'm just guessing. So. I'm taking Corpus Christi to win all right. Bam. I made my choice. Go ahead. All right. For me, for the next one, uh, for Texas Southern and FDU, I chose FDU. Okay. Texas Southern and FDU. Where's that one? All right. Texas Southern is fairly, fairly Dickinson's the name of it. Really? Fairly Dickinson. F A F A I R L E I G H. Fairly. Miss Dickinson. Not not to be confused with Brooks Dickinson, right? Famous producer Brooks Dickinson, more cowbell. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Fairly Dickinson. Just like any other university, it's just when they put their pants in the morning, they make hit records. Anyway. <laughs> That's one of the lines from that. Yeah, I, yeah. I remember next one. Next, 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 next game. Wait, who did you choose bit. for that one? What? Oh, I'm taking. I am taking. What do we got? Is I'm taking that... Fairly Dickinson in the points. Okay. Plus two. So they don't have to win. They only got to cover. So my so far my guesses right now are <laughs> with the odds. Uh, the next the next one I have here is. Arizona versus Nevada, and I chose Nevada. Yeah. That's tomorrow's games. So yeah. those games are tomorrow. Yeah. Um, Arizona State, actually. Arizona State Sorry, is yes. kind of up and down team. They can beat good teams, and they can lose to good. They can lose to bad teams. So they're playing probably a fairer team. This is just another team that limped in. Yeah. Ah, man, I'm going to take Nevada to win. Okay, last game. We're both gonna lose here now because they're both <laughs> chasing the same. It don't matter. Each one of these teams is probably losing I know. the next round. Uh, and my final, my, the final matchup: Mississippi State versus Pitt. And I chose Pitt because their name is Pitt. Like, what kind of name is that? <laughs> sure, for Pittsburgh, it's all. It okay. <laughs> okay. Like, Brad Pitt has Jordan. his own team, and he named it after himself. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> well, it is named after some guy named Pitt. It's called Pittsburgh. Um, I don't have that on my screen. What was the team? Mississippi oh, here it is, Mississippi State. State. Yeah. I'm taking Mississippi State I'm, and and win the points. They're favored by negative two, but I don't take them to win. And I'm just gonna take them to win because it doesn't really pay to over battle, really. Okay. Good. All right, sounds good. Um... And this day in history. Ready? You're on. This day in history, Vladimir Putin was named president of Russia in 1999. Whoa. English, the old. Uh, I, like I like how you said named, by the way. Not elected. Just named. Yeah, it was done by the Politburo. Yeah. Funny name for a communist little cabal of fascists. <laughs> In 2018, English theoretical physicist the Stephen Hawking he died at the age of 76. Oh, by the way, the Pi Day. Does anybody realize that? It's oh, pie yeah. Day. It yeah. is Pi Day. I need to make some pie. Hello. And tomorrow's the Ides of March. Anyway. Oh, yeah. So Julius Caesar's getting assassinated tomorrow. Today is Einstein's birthday. Da -da 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 -da. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's the president thing. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Back. In the first courtroom verdict to be televised in the United States, Jack Ruby was found guilty in 1964 of murdering Lee Harvey Oswald. Congratulations, oh, yeah. Jack Ruby. You get nothing. Nothing. No prizes. Go straight to jail. Have a nice life, idiot. Actually, don't have a nice life. You're a murderer. Whatever. And of course, 
big string of murders that happened after that that went almost completely uninvestigated. People dropping dead involved in the Kennedy assassination for mysterious reasons all over the place. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah, right. Of course. Yeah. Definitely. They did. I can name them. Uh, Dorothy Kilgallen, for once, she was, she was interviewing Jack Ruby. Right in the middle of her interviewing Jack Ruby, she mysteriously died of a barbiturate overdose. She didn't even drink. Yeah. Have I just covered Einstein this? being born. Einstein? German, yeah. yeah. German American German American physicist Albert Einstein, one of the most creative intellects in his, human history, was born on this day in Germany in 1879 in Ulm, Germany. Celebrate American railroad engineer Casey Jones was born in 1864 in Missouri. Riding that train. High cocaine, Casey Jones, better watch your speed. I'm trying to do Jerry Garcia the best I can. <laughs> trouble ahead, trouble behind. Don't you know that notion just crossed my mind? There you go, man. <laughs> Eli Whitney invented the cotton gin in 1794 and celebrated by drinking a bottle of actual gin. German composer. <laughs> Cannot confirm that information. <laughs> well, he wasn't British, so he probably wasn't drinking gin. Julius Caesar. Well, this is tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll cover Julius Caesar. Birthdays today. Besides, oh. besides Einstein, Stephen Curry, Stephen Curry, sorry, basketball player, Michael Caine, British actor, Quincy Jones. Holy crap, Quincy Jones was born in 1933. Quincy Jones and Casey Jones have the same same birthday. Ah. Yeah. Riding that train, high on cocaine. Quincy Jones, you better keep an eye on Michael Jackson. Anyway. <laughs> All right, this has been Allison from Europe, from the Netherlands, talking about how all the news here is mostly not about ourselves. And yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's not like nice. there's nothing bad happening. There's definitely like murders and shootings and stuff, but like that's very normal news, right? It's not like a big earth shattering news of today, you know? It's just like somebody got robbed in Rotterdam. I'm like, I'm sure a lot of people get robbed every day. Don't need to yeah. really spend a whole segment talking about it, in my opinion. Ah. But uh, uh we and can. we'll see you tomorrow for some more exciting. News? Well, maybe not exciting. We'll, we'll find out if it's exciting. <laughs> Everything's exciting if you set it on fire. Anyway. <laughs> you can do your outro. That's my outro. Everything's exciting. Uh, <laughs> and have a brilliant day today. On Pi Day. Get some Pi. It's 314.2 forever ever ever. It's like no, it's 3.14256985432 something like that. You don't know it. Only that kid on life of I. It's definitely 2569 though. Yeah. I remember that part. Yeah. Only that kid whose friend Richard Parker. He knew it all. He did not. That movie was not about pie. But that's why he, his name was Pi because he knew all of them places. Oh, to I pie. don't remember that part of the book. That's why I his name was read, that. I had yeah. to read that book in high school, which is why I don't remember it. <laughs> well, I saw the movie where he's like Richard Parker, Richard Parker, over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, well, anyways, that's, my that's us. Accent. That's us for now. Uh, see you okay. <laughs> tomorrow for more news. All right, man. Bye. Be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and notify buttons, and follow our other channels, Toxic Alley, History of Gravy, and Scratchy Old Records.